guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be telling you guys the three habits that I incorporated into my lifestyle that I started to, to do in order to lose 120 pounds and keep that off. So if you're interested in figuring out what habits you should be incorporating into your daily lifestyle in order to lose weight and keep it off, I have lost 120 pounds and I have maintained it and it's been about four and a half years now. So that's why I'm making today's video because it's just literally three three habits that i incorporated into my daily lifestyle these are the three main ones and that has helped me literally lose the weight and keep it off and it's basically habits i do every single day without even thinking about it so yes it will take a little while for you to incorporate these into your lifestyle we work on one habit at a time and then once you've got these three habits down i feel like you'll be able to maintain a very healthy lifestyle you'll be able to lose weight keep it off because in order to lose weight and keep it off you have to incorporate habits basically that will get you into a calorie deficit and be healthier and more active and then it has to be a habit because you have to to continue to do it in order to actually not just lose the weight but keep it off because however you lose weight is how you're going to keep it off and how you're going to maintain it so it has to be a habit it has to be a lifestyle change and this is three habits that I have literally changed and I do every single day and it's helped me lose the weight and keep it off so if you're interested in that then be sure to stay to the end of the video and if you find it helpful useful informative in any way I would really really appreciate it if you left a like just click click like if you want to like it now you can just so you don't forget and if you haven't already consider subscribing join the family here on youtube we would love to have you if you don't know who i am and this is the first video of mine you're watching hello my name is louise i used to be obese i weighed 269 pounds and i lost 120 pounds and i've been maintaining my weight loss since so i started in january 2020 i lost 120 pounds in about 14 months then i have basically maintained built muscle changed my body composition i've done a bikini competition i have done a photo shoot i basically share my whole journey here on youtube so if you're interested and basically everything i've learned and i share my tips and everything with you guys so we can all be the best healthiest versions of ourselves so we can all lose weight keep it off so yeah that's what i basically do i share everything on this channel i share what i eat i share my workouts i share videos like this so if you're interested in that and you want to lose weight become the best version of yourself then be sure to subscribe click the bell button so you get a notification every time i upload the first habit that i started to incorporate into my daily life was making sure that i prioritize protein and fruits slash veggies so fruits or veg with every single meal so i made sure that every single meal had some form of protein and it was high in protein and that it contains like a portion at least of veg or like half of the plate with ve veg or fruit so for example like i would say fruit for more sweet foods so if i was going to have breakfast i make sure i add like a protein powder i use a skinny food co whey protein powder and so that's got protein in there so i make sure it's high protein and then i'll add like a portion of fruit so high volume low calorie dense fruits like raspberries, strawberries, blueberries. I'll add a portion of that on there because the protein and the fiber and the fruit basically, the, the low calorie high volume foods is going to keep me full for a very long time. It's gonna fill up my stomach. So I'm less likely to go over my calories. I'm less likely to over consume my calories. For example, for like lunch, I will always make sure I have like a big salad, for example. So I'd have lots of chicken, which is obviously protein. And then, um, and it'll be like lean chicken breast, so it's like a low calorie form of protein. And then uh, like a big salad with loads of veggies in there. And that way it's like high volume, high fiber, it's going to it fill up my stomach for a lot less calories than something that's like high calorie dense. For example, a burger. Do you know what I mean? I'm gonna eat a lot more calories on a burger and it's not gonna fill me up as much as like a massive salad. I'm a lot less likely to go over my calories when I eat high volume, low calorie dense food, prioritizing protein than it, I would be if I was just eating high calorie dense foods like burgers, highly processed foods, um, which I can incorporate into my diet as well. But I make mostly focus my meals on high protein, high volume, low calorie dense because I'm just l so much less likely to go over my calories. I'm so much less likely to be more hungry, overeat, overconsume my calories. It just it just makes sense and it's helped me lose weight and keep it off. It obviously, it's given my body the nutrients it needs, lots of fruits, lots of veggies. I always, obviously make sure I have some form of carbs as well. Like I don't cut out carbs, but I prioritize the protein because protein is obviously good, especially when you're losing weight to help maintain your muscle 
mass and so you don't lose muscle and you're losing more body fat and it helps you to stay satiated and then obviously the fiber the low calorie high volume dense foods will just keep you full for such a long time and that brings me on to number two the second habit that i incorporated into my lifestyle to not only lose the weight but also it has helped me keep off the weight and that is walking so i make it a thing to walk every single day, I walk as much as possible, I set myself a daily step goal, so my daily step goal was at least 10,000 steps, I have loads of videos on like walking and how many steps in order to lose weight, I'll go into more depth on that because I feel like if you're only doing like 2,000 steps a day, then jumping to 10,000 steps isn't realistic and that's not what I did, so I do have other videos, if you just type in walking on my channel you'll see the videos, but um, I did incorporate like incorporate walks and increase my daily steps in order to lose the weight and then also to keep it off so right now I'm I get at least 10,000 steps a day most of the time I am going over that but it's just like a minimum for me to get 10,000 steps a day and I've incorporated it as part of my routine to add more steps in so obviously when I get up in the morning and I go, go to the gym I, I walk on the treadmill for a warm-up and then like during the day like I try and be active as much as possible but then I have a set time frame in the evening where I go out for a walk for at least an hour in order to get like the bulk of my steps and make sure I hit my step goal and that has not only just helped me lose the weight because walking is a really good exercise it's very underrated uh, it helps you increase your knee your non-exercise activity thermogenesis so you burn more calories in a day and so it helps you lose weight because if you're burning more calories and you're trying to eat in a calorie deficit it just helps you lose fat basically walking is such a good exercise for fat loss and i feel like we we think that we need to be doing like these massive cardio workouts to begin with and we don't most people are so inactive that just going for a cut like a walk a day 30 minutes and then increasing it to an hour a day at least getting like 150 minutes of moderately paced walk in a week right if you can do that then then that is good enough like to start off with so yeah I, that's what i did i just increased my steps i made sure i focus on walking every single day so every day i make sure i go for a walk it's helped me obviously lose the weight and keep it off it's helped me keep my calories high because sometimes like if you go to the gym say and you're like okay well i'm, I'm gonna start working out and then you go to the gym for an hour but then you come home and sit on the sofa all day you're actually burning a lot less calories in the gym than you would be if you was making sure you're hitting your daily steps every day and going for like an hour walk because yeah we, we don't realize how inactive we can be so that's why it is a good idea to get a step tracker God, i burnt myself with my curlers and now i've got like that there anyway um it's a good idea to get a step tracker and track the amount of steps you get because you don't realize sometimes how inactive you are so that's what i did i first just started off by walking on the treadmill and then um i eventually got a Fitbit I got at first and then I just started increasing my daily steps and I just make sure I get that basically so that's a long winded way of just basically telling you guys I go for a walk every single day and that's helped me lose weight and keep it off so that's the second habit <laughs> and then the third habit that I do every single day to lose the weight and keep it off is I weight train I go to the gym and I weight lift I try to build muscle and the reason why I say that helped me lose weight and helps has helped me keep it off and it's mostly more the keep it off part but it did help me lose weight as well so i didn't actually start lifting weights until i would say it was about six seven months into my weight loss journey i did lose i'm pretty sure i lost around 70 80 pounds before i started to weight train so the majority of my weight loss did come from just tracking my calories and moving a little bit more by like walking and stuff i did start weightlifting, and that helped me to continue to lose body fat it helped me to change my body composition and the shape of my body and it also helped me from not having to drop keep dropping my calories even lower so when i first started losing weight i was losing weight on 1800 calories and then just before i started weightlifting my weight loss was slowing down almost hitting a plateau and then i started weight training and i also at the same time reduced my calories and started weight training got really really hungry my weight loss started going like like so much like i remember i started to lose like three four pounds a week i was like ah i need to increase my calories so i increased it back to 1800 calories and that with weight training i was able to lose one to two pounds a week still which helped me hit my 120 pound weight loss goal within like uh, 14 months so weight training did help me continue to lose the body fat and change my body composition and I feel like I look so much better for adding a bit of muscle to my body and giving my body shape than what it would be if I just lost the weight and didn't have any muscle tone or anything 
So I definitely think it did help me lose like the last bit of fat and I definitely recommend weight training for anyone wanting to lose weight and change their body composition and just be strong and fit. But then also it's helped me with my maintenance and like transitioning from losing weight to maintaining my weight loss because one, having more muscle on your body will help you, like I said, increase your calories so you can eat more, which is a lot like it's a lot more sustainable to be able to have a higher calorie goal than if I didn't have as much muscle, I wouldn't be able to eat as much calories. And then also it gives me something to do every single day. So another goal to work towards because when you're losing weight for such a long time, your weight your goal and your focus is always on the scale or your body fat going down. So then when you hit maintenance, if you don't have another goal to kind of keep working towards it can be really really hard to stay on track and not revert back to your old habits because you're not continuously seeing that progress whereas with weightlifting and weight training I was able to change my mindset and my goal to instead of losing weight it was to build in muscle becoming stronger becoming fitter lifting heavier in the gym and I was able to then transition my focus to that which helped keep me accountable help keep me wanting to feel my body properly because weight lifting and weight training you need to eat right and fuel your body right in order to actually feel good to train and like hit your personal best and like I started to view food as more fuel for my body and you can kind of like see what food makes your body feel good and makes you feel stronger you want to focus on eating the protein because you want to build muscle you don't want to spend ages in the gym and then not eat enough protein because then you're not building any muscle you need the protein to build the muscle and you just want to fuel your body right like you don't want to I don't want to always eat like takeaways and stuff because it makes me feel tired. It makes me feel weak. I get sweaty. And like if I've eaten like not the best and I've eaten loads of takeaways and stuff, when I go train the next day, I'm extra sweaty. I'm extra groggy. I'm like, like I just don't feel the best. Whereas like if I'm fueling my body properly, I'm getting enough protein, I'm getting enough veg, I'm getting enough carbs, enough fats, and I'm eating like quite whole foods, nutritious foods. I'm training and I'm feeling good. I'm able to do my cardio and I feel good in my body. So doing the weight training just helps me stay on track with my food, gives me a focus to keep continuing to work towards. And it also helps with the transition to maintenance, helps maintain your weight loss because you're able to eat a lot more calories. So it's a lot more sustainable. It would be a lot harder for me to keep the weight off if my calories were really really low so building muscle and focusing on um weight training and stuff just obviously helps you to increase your calories and it also gives you so much confidence you feel empowered you feel strong so i just i just highly recommend it anyway but yeah that's the three habits that i do and i did i did and i do in order to lose the weight and keep it off and i recommend that every single person if you want to lose weight and keep it off and be the fittest version of yourself, you should do most of that, if that makes sense. Like, you don't have to, like, stick to it, like, completely. Like, you don't only have to eat high-protein, high, high low-calorie-dense foods, if that makes sense. Like, I don't only eat that, but I prioritise that. And then um, walking every single day. Everyone needs to get out, go for a walk, get some fresh air, get some vitamin D, get your steps up, stay active. That's a, that's a good habit that you need to be doing every single day. And then weightlifting. You don't necessarily have to go to the gym and weightlift. You can even do like calisthenics, like anything to help you just improve your muscle tone. I want to be a strong, fit granny when I'm older. I don't want to have arthritis. I don't want to have problems with my joints. And it helps to shape your body, give your body good shape, feel strong, fit, empowered. And I do think it really massively helps with maintaining your weight loss and also for losing that last bit of body fat. So yeah, they're the three habits that I have incorporated into my lifestyle. And I believe that we should all incorporate into our lifestyle. Very simple. But yeah, I feel like the, the way to lose weight and keep it off is very simple. It's just about mastering the sim simple basics and incorporating that into your lifestyle start off with one maybe do it in that order one to three start off with incorporating one habit and then once you've got that habit down incorporate the next habit and then incorporate the next habit you know what i'm saying and i feel like that will help you lose weight and keep it off but yeah let me know if you have any other habits to add to the list i would love to see them um obviously i've got loads of other habits if you would like another like a part two i just wanted to keep this video very simple because i feel like it is all about the basics but if you would like another video on what other habits to incorporate to your lifestyle after this bit that I've incorporated that I do genuinely feel like has helped then let me know and I'll do that and you can comment some habits down below as well but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I hope you found it helpful like I said if you did find it helpful I would really genuinely appreciate it if you left a like leave me a comment down below and if you haven't already subscribed become part of the family we would love to have you but yeah thank you guys so much for watching I will see you guys in the next one bye